Hi, my name is Vina Azad and I'm going to introduce a topic on type 2 diabetes in twins that we have prepared. Then my partners Halala and Faiza will t talk about the rest of it. This research paper involved studying type 2 diabetes in twins and relatives of the twins, as well as two specific groups of twins. In particular, the studied were based on the inheritance of glucose intolerance, insulin resistance and insulin secretion. This was carried out so that the factors affecting the development of diabetes in the environment could be compared against genetic factors. In type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance is related to reduced glycogen synthesis. The genetic factor for, the, for reduced glycogen synthase activity and reduced transport of glucose was investigated as the results from this was then compared with the studied environmental factors. The obtained results were then discussed. Type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is characterized by insulin deficiency or insulin resistance. Initially, there is no beta cell degeneration. However, gradually the B cell function reduces. Traditionally, this occurs in subjects that are over 40s as the onset of type 2 diabetes is late. Type 2 diabetes is much more common than type 1 diabetes as approximately 250 million people worldwide are currently suffering from this disease. Over 80% of type 2 diabetes subjects are obese and these obese subjects are particularly considered as having abdominal uh, obesity. Abdominal obesity was found to be linked with a common western lifestyle which consisted of overnutrition of mostly saturated fat as well as not enough physical activity. The development of type 2 diabetes depends on the genetics and environment. The findings were discussed in this research paper. In medical research, twin studies have been widely used to look at how a human disease develops depending on the genetic and environmental factors. For this study, two groups of twins were chosen. The first group of twins are called monozygotic twins, and these twins are genetically identical. The second group of twins are called dizygotic twins, and only a 50% of their genes in common. From the studies, there were differences in the appearance of the phenotype with monozygotic twins and it was found that this was due to environmental factors. The differences with zygotic twins were seen to possibly have genetic factors involved. Glucose intolerance is a condition which which is also known as hypoglycemia. This is where blood glucose concentration is higher than normal. In the study, differences were observed in a rate of concordance and inheritance rates with the male and female twins who had a glucose intolerance. The male twins had a more distinct genetic component than the female twins. The founding the findings showed that genetic factors and environmental factors were observed between uh, male and female twins. The reason for these differences is not known. However, the differences showed that controlling of metabolic syndrome is important. In genetic concordance means the probability of a certain characteristic being present in two individual subjects. One of the two individual subjects should have a certain characteristic and in this case, the characteristic is glucose intolerance. Differences were observed in concordance and here in inheritab inheritability in both male and female twins. From the study, it was found that monozygotic twins have a very high concordance rate for abnormal glucose intolerance. On the other hand, it was found that these dizygotic twins had a lower concordance rate. This showed that genes have a function relating to glucose intolerance occurring earlier. From one of the studies, it was also found that glucose intolerance is a metabolic disease. Insulin resistance is a condition in which abnormal amount of insulin produces 
as abnormal natural responses. In these cases, insulin resistance is associated with genetics. Insulin resistance is a type 2 diabetic, has a both primary genetics and secondary non-genetic factors. The, sec the secondary non-genetic component may be due to the either parental component which associated with the low birth weight or, or a different placental factor such as glucose or lipo lipotoxicity. This slide shows the graph from the research paper which is described the activity of the glu glycogen synthesis in 10 controls and 10 obese type 2 diabetic subjects. The 10 controls were healthy subjects that did not have a diabetics. The activity were measured by carrying out a biopsy of skeletal muscle taken from the vivo stimulation with insulin. The white columns shows the basal state, which is known as the resting, re <coughs> resting metabolic state. The blue column shows the insulin stimulating state. From the graph, it can be seen that the, um, the obese type 2 diabetic subject had a lower glycogen synthesis activity than than the control subjects. This shows the insulin resistance in type 2 diabetic has an effect on the glycogen synthesis activity in individuals. The metabolism of glucose depends on a various factor. From the study, two factors were found to be very important. These factors are insulin action and secretion. People with type 2 diabetes are resistant to insulin and their beta cells function is reduced. This leads to a very low amount of insulin produces as insulin produced is not enough. Also, less insulin is secreted due to insulin resistance and reduce the beta cells function. The site of where the defect in insulin is located remained controversial in some aspects. So a study for insulin secretion and glucose metabolism took place, which involved genetically identical twins who did not have the phenotype of the common late onset of type 2 diabetes. This study showed that co-twins, which were identical twins, i.e. monozygotic twins, were more likely to have a type 2 diabetes genotype. The research paper evaluates the role of genetics against environment in the development of type 2 diabetes. One of the aspects found regarding the role of genetics affecting the development of type 2 diabetes was that some type 2 diabetes subjects are highly able to survive when hungry, which is due to more energy being stored as fat than as glycogen. This shows that more fat is deposited. The deposited fat will possibly deposit in beta cells. If this occurred, insulin would be acutely stimulated, but gradually the response to insulin, or to glucose, decreases as a long-term effect. This long-term effect leads to less insulin. An aspect found in terms of the environment factor affecting the development of type 2 diabetes was that there was a higher rate of type 2 diabetes in monozygotic twins than with dizygotic twins. Examples of environmental factors also include obesity and a common Western lifestyle. From the research of the twin model, two variable genes have been identified. The second variable gene, called PRO12-ALA, was found to be the most common gene in subjects with type 2 diabetes. Go. The study shows that both genetic and environmental factors have an impact in development of type 2 diabetes. The studies of relatives and twins showed that genes are indeed involved in the development of type 2 diabetes, in particular with the aspect of glucose intolerance in subjects with type 2 diabetes. Although genetic factors are involved, it was found that environmental factors play a bigger part. This is due to finding in the study that inheriting hyperglycemia gave a value lower than 50%. Lastly, it was found that subjects who had insulin resistance had beta cells which were not able to balance with insulin resistance, leading to the development of type 2 diabetes.